And now, one of the most disturbing ads on TV. Something that's pretty hard to watch, but take a look if you can. This is what happens when Australian sheep are shipped into a Middle Eastern summer. The vessels turn into giant ovens. For the animals, there's no escape. We can't let this happen again. Let's end live export. Authorised by Animals Australia, Melbourne. Uh, Karen, can a message still work if it makes you want to look away? Look, I think for Animals Australia, for their, what they need to say, the only thing that's going to change is when people say, this has gone too far and it needs to stop. And in a post-truth world that we exist in now, shock tactics just come off as fake. So all they're just doing is actually telling you what's happening or showing you what's happening. And they haven't treated this to be really scary. They haven't made it black and white. They haven't put grainy footage over it. They haven't had like a harrowing violin playing in the background. Um, they've just shown real footage because We've sometimes to see too many CGI-led horror films and the scariest thing can just actually be reality. And I can't watch this ad. Like, I, I cannot bring myself to watch this on television. And it's so utterly distressing, but it really reinforces my position or how I feel about the issue. And this is a political issue. It's not, I mean, I, I didn't even know it was Animals Australia, and that makes no difference to me, because what they're doing is lobbying Parliament and trying to get a bill passed which is going to improve the conditions for these animals. Yeah. So, and ultimately, hopefully, cancel the trade. But for me, I just think whenever, it, whenever I even see the start of this ad, um, it makes me so enraged that we haven't done this yet. And it's a flow-on effect from the ABC documentary in 2011, where the entire society just got up in arms and the laws were changed almost immediately at that time to stop live exports, but were since rene renegotiated. So it goes to show the power of trigger, particularly to that memory, for, for people who are really passionate about this cause, Knowing that it's there without even watching it is enough to get you really irate about yeah, it. Yeah, so 20, 20 years ago I did a commercial for the RSPCA, which was pretty much exactly the same. Uh, and of course then there is a lot of political outrage, uh, well, social outrage, uh, and then a lot new laws are put in and new ways to go about, you know, doing live sheep trade or live trade of all animals. Interestingly, Australia actually is seen to have the world's best practice in live animal trade. So it is through doing campaigns such as this that you put serious pressure on the industry and as a result they do get themselves to the point where it is seen to be world's best practice. Yeah, I, I think at the heart of this is guilt and for some people it's outrage but I think that's a smaller group of people and I don't think there is a danger with, with advertising that's that powerful that you do get disassociation and you get a kind of a get out card in your mind. I'm not that bad, that's not about me and you can kind of get out of the guilt bubble that they're putting you in. I don't think this ad does that. I think you stay in the bubble because it's not shot as an ad, it's shot as a video of a situation, and you stay there and you think, there must be, there must be something we can do about this. There must be something else we can do. Now, from a consumer's perspective, it doesn't go anywhere else after that, other than you feeling guilty not knowing what to do. But I agree with Caroline that the ad is not aimed at consumers. You know, the, it's not aimed at normal people. It's aimed at the government. And yeah. they know Bill Shorten has, has taken a point yeah. of view on and, it. And, and, of course, beautifully coordinated as well. So, yes, you make the commercial, but you also brief the media, uh, and then you make sure that you've briefed someone um, in question time. So a question gets asked in Parliament at the same time that the media is talking about it, at the same time that the ad hits. So it's a well-coordinated effort um, in order to, you know, prosecute a really, really important thing. And what I also really like about this is that it with this going on air, it's not just Animals Australia who are doing it. The RSPCA has also set up their website completely that if you Google live exports, they're the first result that comes up. And the immediate thing that they have as the front page for live exports is an email you can send to all the MPs voting on it. Mm -hmm. And I love that that is so proactive that you can easily do that. Just go to the website and actually go, I want to write an email to these senators and send it all off in one hit. But I think it's a target market. You know who I think the people that will be most disgusted and will turn away from the ad? Are farmers. You know, farmers yep. that their life, their, their whole life is around raising these animals and in this system. And then they see this. And for them, I think they will be going like that. Animal welfare is